experience, you would suggest that, you know, at some point, regardless of whether you go through a, an arm's length process to select an architect, you're going to have to have Williams give you a specific proposal for what you're going to do there. And in that proposal, he's going to have to, uh, among many other things, specify who his subs, his subs are, consultants and designers. Um, if I could just take a second, though, just to step back and say, to, along the lines of what you were talking about, when it comes to selecting an architect, you have the authority to enter into an agreement with an architect that you have a previous existing satisfactory relationship with by statute. But if you're not going to use that person or if you want to go and search the market, you have to follow an act known as the Local Government Professional Services Selection Act. That act is a structured, um, qualifications-based process where you go out to RFP, they give you proposals, you have to rank those proposals through an internal committee on criteria that you specify. And then the highest ranking one at the end of the process, you go and negotiate with that one. If you succeed in the negotiation with that one, you can contract with them. If not, you go to the next one and you negotiate with that one. It's a bit of a cumbersome process, but districts do it all the time and it can be done in a purely in a fairly compressed time because the architects are always anxious to give you like, their proposal and to get in front of you. So for a project like this you would attract a lot of interest if you wanted to test the market. We have the specs we can whip that stuff out to you in short order. Um, but if you have a satisfactory relationship with Williams and you want to use them you can go directly to them. That's the reason you can go with them directly. If you, yeah, if your timing yeah. requires it or if you're satisfied. Okay. Oh, one other thing, just to give the board a little context. Construction manager, no process required to select a construction manager. But then the, there's a couple of different types of construction management delivery methods. One is called uh, agency and the other is at risk. If it's an at risk CM, He's going to give you a guaranteed maximum price that you, that's going to be the maximum price you pay for the facility unless there's some contingency that's covered in the contract, but typically it's brought in for that dollar amount. The other way is an agency where the CM manages the project but isn't, hold, isn't holding the contracts and isn't obligated to deliver it at a, a set price. It'll be the price that's based on the bids by the trades that will then be bidding under his specs that are prepared by the architect and administered by the CM. And then the, the specs are usually in trade packages, so the bidders come in to bid all the concrete work, to bid all the, the carpentry or whatever you've got, you know, the mill work. And then those bid packages are approved by the board, and you hold those contracts to the of the agency process. So there's a couple of ways to do that, and there are usually, a lot of districts use CMs and it's an effective way to make sure you've got a second, you know, the architect has some supervisory responsibilities, but he's overseeing his own drawings. You know, when you have a CM in there, one of his jobs is to make sure it's constructible as designed. So it's his job to alert you if there's something that's not designed right. And since that was an issue for you on Oriole, I think, you know, that might be something to consider a CM, at least agencies. But that's down the road. Yeah. Obviously, the architect is first. Quick. Sorry for the diatribe. And, yeah, and I think we should also add in, uh, once you go through that selection and have an architect, you still have contracts to have lawyers uh, yeah. kind of go through, and that could take, a, you know, no offense to you, a couple of weeks, yeah. you know, just going back and forth. So that's just added, added more time. We so, yeah. fast track them, man. I mean, we get, right. sometimes we get asked to do them days. <laughs> and we roll our eyes so, and do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully you guys have much more ahead and we'll have lots of well-timed plans together to give me at least a couple of weeks. To do that. Right. So okay. I guess we just at this point just if, you know give me your thoughts or if you want to you know think about it that's fine too. I, I, we don't expect an answer tonight. So yeah. Yeah. We've got time. We do, but we, we, we do need to think about that. Mm -hmm. Likewise, uh, you know, we're, we are uh, three months out, uh, and, um, you know, three months is a, not a lot of time here, 
Uh, and as much as we're doing some you know, media training tomorrow, we're, we'll be starting uh, sort of the community education component in January. We still don't have a group out there that you know might be able to um, uh, that, that needs information that we could you know provide that to them so that they could have the right information so they can go out and sell it. Uh, you know, if that's what they choose, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but a lot of referendum are, are passed because there is a group in the community going out there and supporting it. So you guys have a, your finger on the, the community, so if you know like baseball, if they want us to come out to one of their meetings, you know, to talk to their families of what that project is all about, what that means to them. Us, us, you know, uh, I think we talked about uh, St. Martha's, going out to them, uh, if we need to go to the schools, but you guys have these these relationships out there that you, know, you need to tap into to see if there's anything that, uh, you, well, if, if there's an opportunity for us to be in front of that group. And anything that we can do, if that's what we're gonna need to do. Because right now, I think we're just all a little concerned, like, look, it's still, it's so close that we need to do, we want to make sure that it, we do it right. So, because uh, if it passes, great. If it doesn't pass, then we've got, you know, we've got, uh, pool's not going to open, people are going to want to know what are we going to do. So we're thinking about that, how, what, how we want to proceed if it doesn't pass. Uh, but that's not the, that's sort of a waste of time we should be focusing on how, how we can help the community uh, learn about the project. So we could think about those groups that you want us to get in front of. Okay. When is the information going to be ready for the public dissemination? Um, I can get specifics from um, PCI tomorrow. Uh, I think their time frame to start sending stuff out is in January after the, the new year. I'll have to look at the calendar again. Have they sent you anything that's like ready to go or or review? Um, they, they are working with Kathy to get information. They met with her to talk about um, social media uh, strategies, uh, that sort of thing, but not specifics yet. Because I thought that timeline was going to be quicker than we would have that. Do you want to see it before it? Do you want to see it before it goes out, or do you? I, I think we should. See yeah, it I think we should probably. Yeah. Okay. Because if it hits the street before, we'll just with all the concern that we have survey and stuff like that, I think if, you know, whatever communications go out, especially the major ones, we should keep an eye on it. Sure. The timing's not bad though. Typically, about three months beforehand. Sure. We go too soon. Right. Yeah, yeah, too soon watched. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure PCI is not that really good. Yeah, especially with the holidays and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait till the new year. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any public comments on non agenda items? Anything you want to talk about? Come on, Eve. Come on. Yeah. What? Uh, you probably want to see what's in the new pool. Debut, too. Yeah. Do you think we need a high dive with the new pool? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us. Yeah. Honestly. Which new pool? The one that, the one that we're trying to build at Hard Pool. What would you like to see there? A high dive, yeah. What else? A climbing wall. A rock climbing wall? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Thank you for your comments. Okay. Good luck for Commissioner's comments. Commissioner Panel. Uh, I just want to thank the staff for the holidays. I know it was a long day and then short time. Was a short day but a long day so and, and i thought it came off very well so thank you all the staff that was involved um marty this time of year a lot of work for you appreciate mm -hmm. that your staff and all the staff uh, thanks to john slater too for the 10 trees that uh, got donated to us and planted Happy holidays to all. I'll be full of Wish you a Sorry I couldn't make holidays. Uh, holidays. Uh, but 
where it was great and all the weather was great. So uh, thanks for all the hard work you guys put into that. And uh, I think it's been a good year. So thank you and happy holidays. Wish you away. Uh, I agree with the holidays. It was a great event. I think it flowed very well. And not a lot of people had to stand outside. Good, one nice day. Um, Keith and the maintenance department with the uh, orbs, excellent job. The orbs, the orbs. And um, happy holidays to everyone. Commissioner okay. Anderson. Everyone's pretty much said it. Um, <laughs> it's been a good year. Thank you guys for what you've done. And uh, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. And I'll just echo what everybody else said. I thought Holly. <laughs> was another great event. Um, you know, we had a little wrap-up meeting today to discuss a few things, but uh, overall it was great. I thought the park looked uh, super. Next year when we get a park on the west side for Steve, you know, it'll even be better. Yes, it will. Um, and happy holidays, everybody. And I know we're going to have a closed session. Yes. If you want to do the honors. I'll make a motion for the board to move into closed session in accordance with the Open Meetings Act, sections 120-2C1, C6, and or C21.